Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, wanted to issue a little update on uh, my flickering screen issue for the Windows 10 May 2019 update. Uh, of course, a lot of you have been saying, oh, that's kind of interesting, a flickering screen and everything. Well, I found what makes the screen flicker. And the uh, problem for the screen flickering is Mozilla Firefox is actually what is making my screen flicker. So when I actually go to uh, YouTube, for example, or if I, you know, press different options where I need menus, uh, right now it's not doing it. But this is how my screen starts flickering. And it doesn't happen unless Firefox is open. So what I have as a problem is really a Firefox issue, honestly, because um, it doesn't happen anywhere else. And it happened twice in two days and twice with um, Firefox uh, browser that I use for one of my accounts. Because uh, for those that wonder why I'm using Firefox, it's simply that I have different browsers that each have their own YouTube account so that I don't have to switch accounts all the time. All I need to do is use a different browser for the different accounts I use. But um, that seems to be really a Firefox issue, honestly, because it um, it only does it with Firefox. Anywhere else, anything else that I've been using, I've not seen that um, issue. So I will actually think that it's probably a Firefox, some kind of Firefox issue that might be fixed within Firefox update. As for the rest, the performance in the, the, the computer is, uh, is working really, really well. Uh, a lot of people waiting for May 2019 updates. Some people are just like, wow, this, you know, I can't wait for it, and so on. Uh, well, you know, it'll be there eventually. Like I said, don't push it. Uh, I think it's the best thing that you could do. And um, if you really, really want it, well, you can still get it by going into uh, Insider Previews and activate the, the slowing build. If you go there and activate slowing, um, you will actually get the May 2019 update still, or if you choose Release Preview. Um, but if you do it, please be careful. If you choose Fast Ring, you'll be smacked with 18875, and that's not what you want. Once again, you know, I recommend that you wait for it until, you know, when it's going to arrive. A lot of people uh, have been asking how long they've been t they're going to test it in the release preview ring. Release preview started testing it Monday, and they said that they're going to test it for a whole month. So that means that f starting, you know, this last Monday and until early May, it's in the slow ring, uh, in the release preview, sorry, and they're going to be checking out um, you know, out of there, uh, it's uh, if there's bugs or problems and any issues that they find out. I think it's extremely, extremely wise and a very, very good idea of Microsoft to be testing that out so long because they're going to fish out all of the little details and the little problems here and there. And the um, release preview insiders will, of course, give a lot of telemetry. Um, I can tell you, I think this Windows 10 May 2019 update will be rock solid when it comes out to everybody and will really, really work well. So um, kudos. I think Microsoft um, took some really good decisions in the past couple of weeks uh, regarding this, regarding the uh, um, feature updates that you'll be able to defer that, uh, you know, if you don't want to have uh, 19H2 or the next version of whatever it will be called, the October or the November 2019 update. Um, you uh, won't have to. You'll be able to stay put to the May 2019 update if you wish until it expires in 18 months. So all of that together, I think, is a great, great, it's a, a great news for everybody. And uh, so if uh, you guys have questions, things that you'd like to know about the May 2019 update, don't hesitate to... Um, to ask. Somebody was asking me if there are some features and some things that have been removed from uh, the, um, the uh, 2019 update. Um, one of them that I believe is, uh, yeah, people is still there. 
there's still the people app but this is an app that's going away from what I understand um, this app is something that they are slowly removing uh, and I know that they've removed it as an official app visible within your taskbar they kinda don't want that um, uh, people app it never really worked and never really caught on um, at all another one uh, question from some people was uh, well you know is um, is your phone app still there yes your phone app still there works great in uh, in the uh, May 2019 update so if you wish to um, if you wish to just get you know your phone app uh, and, and transfer the pictures from uh, your phone to your PC it's uh, I think it's something that's really really nice and uh, it's still there and I actually like your phone app a lot and uh, I think it's a, a cool thing here and um, I think you'll have a uh, great great experience here uh, with all of that so uh, this is pretty much what you'll see here on the uh, phone app and stuff and I think it's gonna be very very uh, interesting to uh, see the continuation and the rollout in May of uh, 2019 if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.